one last page before the end of the lesson. Um, this question is, find the image equation when the following are rotated through a 90 degrees anti-clockwise about the origin. So image equation, what are they referring to? If you look at A, B and C, A, B and C are just equations of straight lines. So what they want you to do is have that draw that, well, what I'd suggest you do is um, sketch a graph of that straight line. Then let's try rotating it 90 degrees anti-clockwise about the origin by using a few points and rotating them 90 degrees. And then that will hopefully help us to visualize and work out also what the um, equation of its image line will be once it's gone through the rotation. So let's do a few little sketches. Um, so the first one is y equals negative 3x. Um, so let's do it. Let's draw an axis. So let's draw the line negative 3x. We're going to draw it in red because it's the object. Um, what's its y-intercept? It's right, its y-intercept will just be 0. y equals mx plus c. c is the y-intercept. I'm going to remind myself of this again. y-intercept c. And m is the gradient. Remember, gradient is y the number. So the y-intercept on um, y equals negative 3x, c is 0, so the y-intercept is just at 0. What we might want to do is use our gradient, negative 3, to think of the rise must be negative 3, and the run is 1. Negative 3 is a fraction, is negative 3 over 1. So that means from the y-intercept we should go down 3 across 1. That's why I made you kind of draw the axis like this. So let's go down 3 across 1, let's plot a point. Let's go from there, let's go down 3 across 1 and plot a second point. We can also go the reverse, up 3, back 1. And up 3, back 1. Pause the video while I... And now we're back. And so that's right, from that last point we go up 3, back 1 another point there. And now let's draw a nice line through there. It's the line tool. You should use your ruler to do that. Just have to do it manually on the computer. Get some line tool and I'll select a little colour for the line. See this one. There you go. Here's a nice line through our points as well as we can do and then maybe what we should do is label that line as well mm, okay mine's a bit dodgy looking um, so hopefully yours looks a bit better we should label that line with this equation y equals negative 3x now what we need to do we're asked to rotate it the question look at the question through 90 degrees anti-clockwise 90 degrees anti-clockwise about the origin. So our origin is our centre of rotation. So our centre of rotation is that little blue dot there. So what you've got to think is, if I took one of those points and I rotated it 90 degrees in an anti-clockwise direction, where would, it be, where would it end up roughly? I'm going to do this with purple because we're about to see the image line. So centre of rotation, there's going to be a point right there. Um, because when you rotate it, around that center of rotation, you're still going to have that blue point. Um, so maybe I'll do um, the dot that there, the point that's at negative 1 and 3. I'm going to try rotating that. I'm use my kind of green and green sun. Draw my arcs. Where's it going to end up? It's going to end up about there. 
and you rotate it 90 degrees in an anti-clockwise direction. Let's get rid of our circle arc. So it's going to kind of end up just about at 3 and 1. Oops, should have done that in purple. It's an image point. So at about 3, 1. So negative 1, 3 is going to end up at 3, 1, the coordinate 3, 1. Um, now let's maybe try rotating another coordinate. So the coordinate at 1, negative 3, if I rotated that in an 90 degrees in an anti-clockwise direction, where is it going to end up? It's going to end up about here. So that's going to be at, let's do this one, mark in purple, let's mark in where that would be. That's going to be roughly at, sorry, negative 3, I should put negative 3 there, don't I? Negative 3, negative 1. Negative 3, negative 1, about there. Um, so you could potentially draw the point now if you wanted to, or you could, I mean, draw the line now if you wanted to, or you could, if you didn't want to draw the line, do some more points. And now the line tool does want to work. Let's do that. So I'm going to do it in purple. My purpley color. Let's cut through it as quick as it's possible. There we go. And adjust it a bit. There we go. And we should label that. So actually what we need to first of all is we need to work out what is the image equation. Because that's eventually, that's what they ultimately want us to do. Work out what is the image equation of that line. Um, so what's its y-intercept? Y-intercept is all zero. So the image line has y-intercept zero. So in terms of y equals mx plus b, you can just say it's y equals mx so far. You can see zero. Oops, sorry. Just need to go to the computer to scroll down. Or maybe that one's better. y equals mx plus b. Um, so what's interesting is, you notice that when you rotated it 90 degrees in an anti-clockwise direction, because you rotated it 90 degrees, 90 degrees, what would be the angle between the two lines? So try to think what would be the angle between the two lines because you rotated it 90 degrees. So the angle should be a right angle. So there should be a 90 degree angle there now. So the two lines will be perpendicular. I'm just going to undo that so it doesn't mess up my diagram when I look back at it. Use image time, for example. So, oh, yeah. so the grade as the two lines are perpendicular, or as the rotation angle was 90 degrees. The rotation angle was 90 degrees. The two lines. Perpendicular. Two lines are perpendicular. because the equation was negative 3x. So the gradient of the image line will be the negative reciprocal. So let's see, negative 3 over 1, the original one. If you flip it and make it negative, change the sign, you will get uh, positive 1 over 3. Sorry. So negative 3 over 1, you would get positive 1 over 3. So the equation of the straight line, y equals an x plus b, which is b, y equals one third x, and plus zero. Because the x is 
one is equal to zero. And it does make sense, because if you go, if you see this line, you go up one, across three, or you go down one, back three. So it does make sense that the gradient would be positive a third for that particular one. So that's our little answer for that question there. Y equals one third x. Now we've got another two questions to do. Just save that. Next one, find the image equation when the following are rotating 90 degrees about the origin. So B is x equals 2. x equals 2, would you agree that's just a line, straight line, through the point x equals 2? So is it vertical? Is it horizontal? Let's write x equals 2 would be that here. It's just a vertical line through the point x equals 2. So imagine that was 1. Um, and if you rotated this red line, if you rotated it 90 degrees anti-clockwise, you're kind of going this way, 90 degrees anti-clockwise, where would it end up? 90 degrees anti-clockwise, it'll become a horizontal line through y equals 2. So we call this line y equals 2. That's an easy one to do, actually. That separates off the two questions. equation of this line, it's just a horizontal line becomes a vertical line. Sorry, vertical line becomes a horizontal line. So let's say if you rotate a vertical line by 90 degrees, Vertical lines, the equations are just like x equals with horizontal lines, so the equations are y equals. Um, so the equation of this one is just y equals 2. So something to note in this particular example, um, the reason why it is y equals 2 as opposed to y equals negative 2 is because of the direction of the 90 degree rotation. So the 90 degree rotation anti clockwise, like in this direction, that's why it ended up being y equals 2. If we had have had to rotate it 90 degrees um, clockwise, it would have been in that direction. So in which case it would have ended up through there instead. And that's then the equation would be y equals negative 2. So I'm just going to undo that. Okay, so that one's done. The equation that looks this image is just y equals 2. Now I've got another one, 4x minus y equals negative 5. Um, I personally find it a bit easier to rearrange to make it y equals first. So we can go, for example, 4x equals negative 5 plus y, so y equals 4x plus 5. Plus y, so y equals 4x plus 5 is actually our equation. Rearranged. Now I'm going to start to sketch that and we're going to do a bit of rotation. This one's a bit of a tricky one, so I think we've got a bit of space to do it. I reckon when you kind of go up to 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Because of the line set that I need to sketch out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And probably you need to go above 5 actually. So you do 1, and do 2, and do 3, and do 4, and do 5. Now let's get to the original. So what's its y-intercept? So it's got a y-intercept of 5. So that's easy, let's get to that. Y-intercept of 5. Our gradient is 4, so y's over 1 must be 4 over 1. So you need to go up 4, across 1. So up 4 means up to 9, plus 1. And then you can also go down 4, back 1. So go down 4, back 1, gives you, from the y-intercept, gives you that. Go down 4, back 1. 
will take you down to negative 3, neg sorry, negative 2 on the x and negative 3 on the y. If you go down 4, um, back by 1, so on the y you're going to end up at negative 7, and back to negative 3 on the x, and so on. Uh, so now I'm just going to sketch that little line, put my line through there. Know what this equation is? It's y equals 4x plus 5. That's the object equation, the original one. Um, now we need to let's see, rotate it through 90 degrees anti clockwise. Again, this is going in like that in general direction. 90 degrees anti clockwise. Try to think of what we would do. To think. So, again, the equation is just going to be y equals mx plus c. Um, it's about this, uh, and also the centre of rotation, I should mention that. Centre of rotation is just here, same as that one, the centre of rotation right there, I forgot to draw them in. Um, centre of rotation, if you're to see the red dot at the y-intercept at negative, at positive 5, see it on the original object, the y-intercept is positive 5, let's rotate that 90 degrees in the anti-clockwise direction, because that's easy. No, rotate that 90 degrees in the anti-clockwise direction, it's just going to take you to negative 5 on the x-axis instead. So I use my circle arc to do that. So negative 5 is one of the points that we have there. Um, let's see, what else do we need? So another point you want to do is see the red point at negative 1 and 1. If you rotate that 90 degrees, kind of in clockwise direction, you're going to end up there. Sorry, anti clockwise direction, it was. So take that 90 degrees in the anti clockwise direction, you'll end up at negative 1, negative 1. So that's another point to think of. Um, what about this little point here? If you rotate that 90, so that's currently at negative 2 and negative 3, so coordinate negative 2, negative 3. If you rotate that 90 degrees, clockwise direction, you'll end up at positive 3, negative 2. Positive 3, negative 2. You can see it's starting to form a bit of a straight line. So, positive 3, negative 2. If you rotate that 90 degrees, you end up at positive 3, negative 2. Uh, maybe another point, like this little one here. It's currently at, let's see, um, it's currently at negative 3, negative 7. So negative 3, negative 7. Blue. So negative 3, negative 7, rotate at 90 degrees in the anti clockwise direction. It's going to end up over here. It's going to end up at positive 7, negative 3. I haven't drawn that very well. So positive 7, negative 3. Notice that's kind of the sign. Similar numbers, but they're kind of swapping around and just kind of changing a little bit. So the numbers are kind of related to each other, like neg one, negative 1, 1 became negative 1, negative 1. Um, negative 2, negative 3 became positive 3, negative 2. Um, let's see, negative 3, negative 7, rotated around to become positive 7, negative 3. I like these two marks here. So we need to go across the x's of 7, down to negative 3. So it's forming a bit of a straight line, and now that's probably enough. You can connect them up with a lovely little line. Do that. Make your label of the equation. Oh, we need to work out the equation first, but I won't keep forgetting that. So that's the original one, not y equals 4x plus 5. We need to work out the image equation. The image equation, purple line. Um, so it's not something that we can we can sort of work out. Like from those points, you can see you're going uh, down one across down one across four. You can also think the gradient will be the negative reciprocal because of the 90 degree rotation. If it was a 180 degree rotation, it would just become uh, the line again itself. So the gradient is the negative reciprocal. 
90 degree rotation of uh, Lord Regional Gradient 4. So the original image gradient was 4 over 1. Flip it, change the sign, we'll get negative 1 over 4. And now say the equation so far is negative 1 over 4 x plus c. And the way this that we can't just look at this one, the first one for A it was easy, you can just see it rotated around the centre of rotation, so it stayed zero. There's a wind step on this one, mm, it's kind of like a huge decimal. Let's see how we can work it out. We can work it out by using a point. Maybe I suggest use uh, negative 5 and 0 to put on the image equation on the purple line. Negative 5 and 0, because that's an easy one to sub in. So we're going to use a point, negative 5 and 0, because we're going to sub that into x and y. To solve for c, we're going to get 0 equals negative 1 quarter, open bracket, plug in your negative 5, open bracket, plus c. So 0 equals, what's negative a quarter times negative 5? It's positive 5 quarters, because negative times negative is positive. So c must equal negative 5 over 4. Have a little look at your diagram. Could it be possible, according to your graph, that um, the y intercept is negative 5 fourths? Yeah, it could be, because negative 5 fourths is negative 1.25. So that is definitely pos possible. Sorry, I'll just need to fix this. <laughs> negative 5 over 4, so our equation use finally of the image equation it's going to be y equals we already worked out the gradient negative a quarter x um, and the y intercept is negative five over four so we finally got our image equation so again you didn't have to draw the graph but the graph really helps um, because you can check your answer because it's quite tricky it's a way you can check your answer and it's a way you can get an idea of where to begin so thank you and that's the end of the lesson now